We've read a lot about, you know, the enemies of the cross of Christ, about the sons of Belial, wicked people that go out and will set traps, and they'll try, they'll try to actually literally get you to fall and to fail. You, you who are trying to live godly, you who follow the Lord, you who want to do what's right, and will set traps for you. And we see here that we don't have to go necessarily and, and fight against them. Oh, you laid this trap. I mean, just, just pray to God. Hey, pull me up out of the net that they've already laid for me. And, and um, you know, God will help us there. Look at verse number five. And I love this verse right here. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Now, now this psalm overall, as we go through all of it, it's another psalm that's, that's very comforting. It's a psalm that, that's, that's encouraging and, um, you know, sh just giving us the comfort that God is there. He's our defender. He's our rock. Uh, he's, the, you know, the, the defense that we put our trust in. And committing your spirit into God's hand is just, just completely trusting in him, right? You're saying, God, I'm, I'm completely committing my spirit or completely committing my soul unto you, Lord. And this is the way that I'll explain salvation to people sometimes, too, when I'm out uh, just soul winning and just trying to explain, you know, what does it mean to, to believe, right? Because a lot of, it, it, unfortunately, it's kind of confusing for people because everyone will say they believe in Jesus, and, and, but the way that they mean they believe in Jesus isn't what you have to do to be saved. It's the same way that I would have meant it before I was saved. If someone would have asked me if I was a Christian, I would have said, yeah, well, do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, yeah, I believe in Jesus. But I still wasn't saved. But I thought all you had to do to be saved was believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you do. It's just what does that word believe really mean in the context of salvation? It's not complicated. It's not hard. And one of the ways, and that's why I like this verse, because this is, this is similar to one of the ways I explain to people what it means to believe. It's, it's, you know, when you're believing, you're trusting. So you're trusting Jesus Christ basically with your soul. And sometimes the way I'll, I'll position it to people, I'll present it to people is just say, you know, especially after I've gone through the whole gospel, it's like, well, hey, are you willing, are you willing to completely entrust your soul to Jesus Christ? Whatever it is that you think is going to get you into heaven, right? The day that you die, you want, it, you want entrance into heaven, do, are you willing to completely just entrust your entire soul to Jesus? Just let him get you in. Because that's what it is. You're, you're committing your soul unto him. It doesn't mean you're committing to do good works and saying, well, I'm going to follow you and I'm going to do this and this and this in order to be saved. Not it at all. Committing your soul unto him is just saying, like, I'm going to let you, all the work that you did for me, Jesus, I'm going to just, here, you do it. You've taken, you've, you've done it. You've taken care of it. You advocate for me. You speak for me. You get me into heaven because of what you did. You're completely just trusting on what he did. You're believing on him. You're committing your soul to him. And obviously, this isn't just talking about your, your, your soul being saved in this, in this psalm. There is a lot of, of salvation and deliverance and everything just, just in the psalm itself. But even just in this world and the victories that we want to have, you know, we ought to be committing our spirit unto the Lord and say, hey, my spirit's in in your hands, God. And when you have that type of an attitude, that's going to help eliminate the fear that might creep into your life when you do face persecutions, persecutions when you do find yourself snared in the trap that people are laid out for you, when you do end up in a situation, you can say, hey, well, you know what? I'm committing my spirit unto the Lord so he can lead me, he can guide me, and, and I'm going to leave it up to him and have comfort in that. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. 